Welcome back to ESC Extra. My name is Benta, and as you can see, I am here with Albina. Yeah, Alpha two Alicia. blondies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is fake. <laughs> no, it looks great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean, firstly, look at her. Look at that outfit. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> well, thanks to my uh, stylist here. Uh, as I said before to you, um, this is the only opportunity to dress up, so we are actually using it at all levels. <laughs> Rightfully, totally right. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm so glad we had this opportunity to chat in real life as well. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, it's quite hard these times, but yeah, we managed to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's great, definitely. So, you know, let's just get into it. Your rehearsal was yesterday. What was it like? Well, uh, I have to admit that uh, I was shocked in a positive way because even though we rehearsed back home, you know, the choreography was on point, uh, outfits on, on point, but we, you know, we didn't know how it would look like on the screens. We were kind of worried, uh, will it be kind of, you know, full package? And we were actually very surprised in a positive way. Uh, I mean, of course, Marvin is a great stage manager and director, which is why we actually kind of uh, approach him for mm -hmm. that uh, purpose. Uh, but we are very satisfied with what he did uh, with the stage, with the graphics, with the you know uh, the tools on the stage and everything. Uh, so yeah, I am I'm. I'm really happy and can't wait for you guys to see the whole Ooh, performance. <laughs> yeah, it's so exciting. Yeah. So how did it feel to like walk into that stage for the first time? Well, it was a bit... Um, I wasn't kind of uh, under pressure. I was just kind of... Um, I was... Uh, you know, I was uh, seeing the stage for the first time, and since we are on the boxes, which are kind of higher than the, mm -hmm. than the stage usually is, uh, I was just, you know, um, trying to kind of uh, get to know that stage and everything, the positions. So the first one was maybe a bit uh, stitchy, <laughs> but then I kind of relaxed and um, everything went great. I was feeling like I'm at home. Um, the dancers were great. Um, I think it really looked amazing, you know, the overall impression. And the reactions are great. I'm very mm -hmm. thankful that people appreciate the change and the upgrade from our national performance. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks amazing. It's, I mean, my opinion, but Thank most you. people seem to agree, of course. Yeah, Thank so you. like the, the staging, like, why did you decide to change it from the national final? Well, uh, I have to say that we wanted to kind of keep the main mood from our national final, which is, you know, the colors are pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. um, and we wanted to kind of, we wanted not to look very dark because I'm very young and um, spontaneous in real life, so we wanted to kind of show that happiness, that spontaneous thing and everything, uh, but we wanted to kind of maybe, uh, uh, we did an upgrade with outfits, uh, we wanted to, uh, you know, kind of uh, maybe um, to emphasize a bit my body lines and everything because I have a strong movements uh, mm -hmm. with the choreography, so we wanted to kind of uh, to look very, you know, uh, sharp. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we we managed to do that, and uh, he played the, with the lights. We have also some special uh, effects. You will see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, um, and I think the um, the strangest thing and the, you know the most uh, positive thing about our performance and what's different maybe from others is that our performance is mainly on a on a catwalk. That you know, well, yeah. we're mainly uh, you know there, and then we're using a bit of a small stage. So actually, we don't use uh, the main stage at all. Oh, that's so yeah. interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's really, really cool. That really like sets you apart from the others. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So um, you mentioned the national final. Like backtracking a bit to um, when you were in Doha. Like, how did you decide to sign up for it? What inspired you to do that? Well, actually, I um, at first uh, when I was discussing with my um, with my um, label and with my um, the author of the song, mm -hmm. um, I wasn't sure about you know um, applying to Dora because um, you know we didn't have a song, and I told Branimir that I don't want to apply with just any song. I want that to be you know me to be perfect. Yeah. Even though at first I wasn't sure that TikTok is, you know, representing me because I wasn't sure if I'm 
the right to kind of sing that song to present that energy and what song is you know talking about uh, but I was wrong <laughs> I actually uh, surprised myself and uh, surprised everyone else uh, who weren't expecting that from me uh, so yeah I'm very glad that it happened kind of spontaneously we weren't forcing anything we weren't forcing you know just me appearing on Dora and then maybe eventually going to your vision we just any song. Yeah. So I think that's the most important thing. Definitely. So did you like the song when you first heard it or was it? Yeah, really I was I was you know, I was shocked in a positive way as well because I, when I heard the song I knew it has that um, hit moment. Uh, it yeah. has that catchy beat and it really kind of draws you in uh, in that beat and the melody and the rhythm. Mm -hmm. I think it's very strong. Um, I think uh, the production is great. And um, I liked it, you know, for the first time I heard it, I liked it. I just had to kind of imagine myself within the song and yeah. pull that energy out and that eventually happened. <laughs> yeah, you did a great job. Definitely. Thank you. So were you like a Eurovision fan before? Oh, I'm a huge, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm a, yeah, I am a Eurovision <laughs> fan, but this year I'm a huge Eurovision fan because I know every song, I know every contestant, you know, I'm kind of, I like that, you know, uh, if someone told me that uh, I have a chance just to watch this year's show, I would be thrilled, mm -hmm. because the songs are great, the performers are great, uh, the diversity is very strong this year, uh, which is very important, because, you know, uh, I think uh, it just depends on your personal taste, yeah. you can't say this, uh, this is, you know, this is crap, or something like that, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but, you know, I think, uh, I think uh, most of the songs have uh, their quality. It just depends on what you like privately. Maybe you're not a fan of rock, maybe you're not a fan of mm -hmm. pop, of, ca of catchy songs, of dance songs, maybe you like ballads more. I think it's just, you know, up to personal taste, but I I think that this year is very strong when it comes to your vision and the songs in general. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really impressive. Yeah. So have you like met any of the contestants? Uh, actually, uh, I didn't met Manisha, but she's here, uh, my neighbor oh, in the hotel. So yeah, and I'm a big fan. She's my top three. Uh, yeah, this oh, year. Oh, you, you have a whole top list. Well, I have to stop. <laughs> I have top three. You know, songs which I would like to maybe to win the Eurovision. Oh, yeah. Except for mine. <laughs> yeah. No, but I really. Uh, I, I have. The whole playlist, I know whole songs. Oh, amazing! <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's great. You're basically like a fan like us. Well, That's yeah, fun. maybe not. Um, I, maybe I, I don't know, you know, the facts mm -hmm. from past years because this year when I'm actually participating, I'm maybe yeah. uh, more involved. So that's why maybe I'm more interested in the songs and everything because of the you know competitors and yeah, everything. Yeah. But you know, just this experience of watching such. Uh, such you know powerful songs, uh, great production, high level, you know staging, everything. I think that's a that's a beauty of the of the Eurovision. Definitely. So um, I also wanted to ask. Um, you have a Croatian version of your song and a verse in Croatian as well. Is that something like a full Croatian version? Have you ever considered that for like Dora or Eurovision? Uh, no. Uh, I uh, actually I was kind of. Um, I wasn't sure about um, recording the whole mm. uh, Croatian version because uh, Croatian language is a bit harsh uh, when it comes to music and you know kind of fitting into the song and melody so I wasn't sure if that's the right thing to do I mean the Croatian version is great and I think we we did a good job with with that but um, I never consider it for kind of Dora or um, Eurovision uh, be, but this creation part uh, in the English version, yeah. I think it is, um, you know, it is a, a best thing we we decide when it comes to your vision because it really adds some um, extra charm to the song. And when you think it's over, nothing nothing's going to happen. <laughs> then I, you know, I Ooh, think that creation yeah. part. I think it's very it's very powerful. Yeah, and it's also nice to kind of like show your country a bit. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I really only have one question left, which is, do you have a final message to your fans at UC Extra? <laughs> well, I just wanted to thank you all for um, rooting for us uh, and for being, you know, uh, supportive of our performance, of our energy, of our uh, story. 
I, I hope you will like the, the performance because uh, I think it's really great. I think, um, I think people will kind of uh, connect to it and uh, maybe dance along because it has that energy. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, if you like the performance, maybe vote for us. But yeah, I think uh, you know competitors this year are really, really strong and great, and I can't wait to see the whole show. Uh, and I hope you you'll enjoy the whole show. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. And uh, all the best at your mission. Thank you I very much. You well. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> all right. Bye. That's it. <laughs>